I received my first $120 dividend from Scythe REITs portfolio. My question to you is, should you invest in passive income as well? Hi everyone, I'm Jim Z, and here's where I share my investing journey in different platforms to determine where I can receive the highest returns and to find new ways to earn extra income. If you have any lobang, feel free to share in the comments below so all of us can benefit together. I'm your lab rat so we can plan your investment better. But I'm not a financial advisor, so tolong please, don't monkey see, monkey do. Always research before investing. However, if you want to be one of my monkeys, here are some tips must know when it comes to SG REITs. Number 1. REITs expected ROI is about 4-8% to annually. Dividends are paid out either biannually or quarterly, but it depends on their profit and loss. They cannot pay out dividends if they are making losses because they are equivalent to breaking a law. Yes, Singapore have law for everything, safe distancing law, which is actually given them about 2.5 million in fines. This is what I call passive income. Set a law and wait for people to break the rules, and you earn passive income. That's a very good way as well. Number 2. REITs stock prices will go up and down just like the stock market. But you don't have to care much, provided that the REITs are reputable from firm companies like Sanders and Maple Tree. As you can see on my Scythe REITs portfolio, the stock price will go down after dividends are distributed. The focus here is on passive income rather than growth stocks. Number 3. If you are investing in REITs, you can sit back, watch my videos and subscribe to my channel because that's all you gotta do. Just wait for the dividends to come every 3 to 6 months and you can either reinvest or cash out. Here's the list of REITs in Scythe 100% with their ROI. The dividends I received till date is about $120. Here's the breakdown for your information. There are dividends that have yet to be distributed, so it's left blank. I put up this Excel sheet in Google Drive link in the description box below, which I will update as and when dividends are given out. So you are receiving real world tracking data. Sharing is caring, guys. Usually, I will use dividend.sg to look for individual REITs return rate. We take a Sanders REITs as example. I took the number of units in Scythe portfolio and multiplied by the dividends stated on dividends.sg. The total is about the same as what Scythe projected. The good thing about Scythe is you can deposit $100 to kickstart your investments. If you are new, you can sign up to Scythe using my referral link in the description box below. I'm sticking with Scythe for REITs because I'm too lazy to keep track of them. I personally believe we have to delegate some things out to the professionals so we can focus on other income generating assets such as your businesses and stock markets. Number 4. Percentage of my portfolio in REITs When I started investing in REITs, I was expecting the retail economy to boom especially people have been staying at home since COVID started. New tenants will move in and shoppers will return to malls. However, I was wrong when new COVID cases at various locations impacted business further. I allocated about 10% of my portfolio into Singapore REITs because I wanted passive income. The other 90% is based on growth stocks such as stocks, ETF, and crypto. For crypto, I'm simply buying low and selling high. I'm using crypto.com app. So whenever I receive a notice of ADA dropping 10%, for example, I will buy in. Wait for another notice, when it increases by 10%, I will sell it, regardless of it going higher. I'm contented with that 10% gains. To me, this is more like gambling, but it worked for me personally. Sometimes, it isn't good to be too greedy. Comment below if you agree or disagree with my method. Number 5. Should you invest in Scythe REITs portfolio? If you want passive income, yes. Other part of me prefers going 100% into growth stocks because I'm looking at long-term gains. The other part of me prefers having some passive income which can offset my monthly bills. What do you think guys? Share your thoughts with me in the comments section below. Subscribe to Money Face channel if my videos provide insights on Scythe 100% REITs to kickstart your investment journey. If you haven't already. Thank you monkeys for watching and have a good day ahead. 
Jimzy signing off.